Orla Mining is a company that's got uh, a great team uh, in management and two uh, assets that are ready to be developed in Mexico and Panama. And so the combination of the management team that knows how to build mines in conjunction with uh, an asset in Mexico that's ready to develop, followed by an asset in Panama, uh, is what uh, Orla intends to do over the next two years. Yeah, Orla is a company that is going to grow. We need to start by developing our project in Mexico, uh, and at a million ounces, that'll give us a good start. But with the negotiated uh, deal to push back the pit wall, we should be able to extract more than a million ounces from that asset. And of course, the million ounces sits within a basket of over 10 million ounces of sulfide. So there's enormous uh, possibility to explore uh, on the concession that we have in Mexico. Probably the major challenge that we're facing as a company is that in both Mexico and Panama, uh, there will be governmental changes over the next six months. And so it's important for us to understand as the new government's transition, um, how that could impact our development projects. So we're going to deliver value to the shareholders uh, at Orla through two things. One is developing uh, the mines that we already have uh, ready to go, as well as exploring uh, very large land packages on both of the properties. With over 200,000 hectares uh, available for exploration in Mexico, uh, we expect that uh, we'll be able to add value through the drill bit and add value through development and production at mines. So listing for our company is important because it exposes us to a broader range of shareholders. And frankly, the TSX is the place that mining companies uh, need to be listed uh, in this business.